Hello everyone, I am Osiris and you are watching some more Guild Wars 2 beta weekend footage. Uh, still on my element list here. Um, I'm doing uh, a bigger event that I think is the last part of a big chain. Uh, so every dynamic event has chain a chain which if you win you go to a next chain to either push the people back or if you fail that they take over your village or whatever and a lot of people actually forgot didn't think didn't know that dynamic events work this way because they did the renowned hearts they were done and they maybe did one dynamic event and they thought they, would, they had to move on but if they just wait around for a little bit longer explore that and find out that you know the chain would move on maybe you had to escort someone to the next village or maybe the bandits would attack again with another strategy or stuff like that so yeah. So this is actually the last thing that I did on my elementalist, and as you see, they hit quite hard. I was quite feeling badly with the circles on the ground. Um, the red circles where you have to move out of. They are fairly obvious, but when you're so like, yes, I'm gonna go do this, I'm gonna go in there and destroy all these people, and you're not paying attention, and you're gonna die. Because this game is challenging. You need to pay attention to what you're doing. So, but uh, I got back in there, and I managed to get aggro from this dude here that downed me again. But uh, people are very helpful, and uh, they either come and res you, or you tend to make it in these events because so many mobs die, and if you kill one, then uh, you usually rally back up again. So as you see, I died here, but then all these people just come straight away to res you because. Not because it's it's good to rest someone, but you also get XP for it, and the more people you do it, the faster it goes. So it's 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 great way to invoke teamwork and uh, help each other out. It works works really well. I really love that. So we need to kill three portals in order to kill this shaman here, which is a champion's shaman, which is like the second class elite boss type elite mob type thing. I'm not sure if there's any higher, I'm, I'm sure there's probably like bigger bosses than that here. I'm not sure what they're called. But. It's a fairly straightforward event, but uh, it's quite fun nonetheless. As you can see, uh, particle effects are quite crazy. Some people have complained about it, but I have not really found it a bit of a problem yet, but maybe they toned it down a bit, or maybe I just like flashy <laughs> abilities. So I managed to kill all the portals, or destroy all the portals. And the camera suddenly zooms out. Uh, this is something that happens on bigger events. Uh, your camera zooms out because you get more screen view for some reason. Uh, I guess it's for bigger bosses and stuff like that. I wish that they would implement this c camera distance as a max distance standardly into the game because I like having my camera further away and yep red circle get out of that man but yeah I, I wish they would implement that because I love having my camera further away but a lot of people have already complained about that uh, and I th I'm sure Arena will fix, fix that because they seem to listen very well to the community, so... So as you see, there's all kinds of different types of debuffs in the uh, boss. Like, there he's blinded, he has... Uh, vulnerability, which is like the shield thing. And it all stacks up, and he has, he's bleeding, and he has fire debuff, burning. And a necromancer, I think, that the skull thing is, I'm not sure. Poison, probably. Uh, but yeah, the, the, the vulnerability especially is very important. When that stacks up high, your abilities start to do an insane amount of damage. And a lot of people don't know that. I didn't know that either until I suddenly saw my... You'll see in a little bit that my fireball starts doing almost 400 every hit. Yeah, it, it wasn't too challenging, but 
you still need to know what you're doing, like those red circles and the range, the, it's quite challenging. I mean, this is, you have to remember, I'm level 9. So, yeah. I like how they just challenge you straight out of the bat in this game. It's, it's really enjoyable. It doesn't hold your hand all the way either. There he transforms into the last phase. I'm trying to skip through my uh, shift through my attunements here a little bit to see if I can get some sort of I don't know rotation is not really viable, but keep the debuffs up. I'm kind of failing at it, but especially like my number two ability is important because that gives his vulnerability debuff if I'm correct. But there's one ability in lightning as well that makes the next attack of the boss miss and everything seems to work on boss like cripple knockbacks and all that kind of stuff just seems to work on these maps i think that is really cool not just like limited yeah, yeah you'll see my fireball do quite some damage here because the vulnerability stacks up so high And uh, remember that these events skill with the amount of people that you're there, so he has quite some HP and his attacks almost one hit you every time. I see there are some people dead and we're not helping them out because I think it's just the heat of battle, everyone is like trying to avoid attacks and just <laughs> getting their damage out. But now he's dead. Or now, rather, that, that last bit actually lasted longer than I thought it would. <laughs> and then succeeded. Loot. My contribution level is silver. No idea why that is, but... I guess because I came in later, I didn't help him from the beginning, from the whole event. Because I got gold for killing the boss. So. But yeah, that was uh, one of the bigger events that I have. Uh, next, I will have some warrior footage uh, and some divinity reach show off. Uh, so I'll be looking forward to that. I'm just here showing off my awesome summon flame axe skill. Anyway, if you like this video, please leave a comment, hit the like button, and make sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. See you around.